Hello friends, Aston here. So today's project is Gas One Hander. So it's kind of a milestone for me and for this channel for all the project related to the Google Apps Script. And uh, today's topic is about the ChatGPT. So I know this is kind of a hot topic right now. And uh, I don't know what we can do here with this ChatGPT and all of these models that we can use in our application. So I just spent some time to, to basically to study the API and trying to integrate it to the Google Sheets. And uh, I basically replicate the application right now. We have on open, I'm not sure you can see the chat open API. Uh, so the, the design or the workflow is quite similar. It's just trying to replicate this, but and to show you basically the ability, what we can do here, we have a, a what, what we can chat here, we can create a new chat and uh, try to save some history data here. So if you used this before, so this tool right now in the Google Sheet should be very familiar for you to use. And uh, here we have a, uh, some, I think some versions here, but I tested, it. maybe it's just, uh, right now I'm using a free account Maybe there's some reason it's not updated to GPT-4 or something like that. So right now we can only use this, this 3.5 in the, at least for my test with my API key. Uh, so maybe if you have a paid account, you can try, I don't know. I didn't read uh, about this uh, documentation, but we maybe in the future if they released that, or if you have a paid account or have a plus account, maybe you can use it. Uh, but for now, I can only use this 3.5. All right, let me show you how to use this tool. I think it should be very easy to use. And here is going to be a section for select our a version of the GPT, uh, of the model, okay? And then we have some kind of history data. We can save it here in this spreadsheet. And here is going to be our enter for the message. And here we have some options here to maybe we have a history data here. We can load it into current section here and we can have a new message and we can send this to the server all right and before we try to do this if you are using this as the first time you need to set up the api key okay so if you go to this menu and for the first time if you're using this tool you make a copy of this tool uh, you won't see this okay it won't you're going to ask you for the authorization for the first time and after you complete authorization, then you need to click this again. Or right now, if I'm trying to, if I'm trying to send a message, it won't send the message because there is no API key. And if I basically add something here which is not valid API key, I don't think it's going to work, right? So in card API key provided, you need to go to this website. So basically, I need to copy this link and I go to here because I'm already here and let me just create a API key so this key you can only see this for once okay and I'm creating this for this video I'm going to delete it after this video so it's basically this cannot be used anymore after this video so I, I just copy this key and I'm trying to set the API key here and paste here and trying to check if it's going to work. Uh, it's going to validate if this is a valid API key or not, right? And I'm not sure because we just created it. And uh, now, uh, if we get this message, that means uh, the API key has been valid has been validated, and we are able to make a new chat. So what we can do here, maybe we can say hello. I don't know. This is Ashton. Enter and send. Okay, it's going to send this message to the server and going to take a while to get the responses from the server. Sometimes it's quite quick, but I'm not sure. This depends on the because we are using a free version. And so it is not that responsive, I think. 
but we can check in the at the back end here we can check the status so right now <laughs> I find the this message that's, that's kind of long so after we have this response we just clear this input box and we save the history here as you can see but actually we have a kind of conversation here right we can keep asking and uh, what we can do here maybe I don't know uh, ask a stupid question about how maybe how to valid uh, how to validate if a value is a date in JavaScript something like this press enter you send the message so basically here we are we are saving a history data here as you can see so right now this text and the background are the same color so you won't see it here but if you check this value here we have uh, this history data saved here so basically uh, it's like a conversation so this is the first one I ask it from the user and then this is a response from the from the server right and this is a message we displayed here right now and after this is completed for this question we're going to have a new a conversation here and so we basically keep going keep going like this right so this is the answer from this question we, I just we just asked it and uh, you will see we have some code here right I don't know what we can do here in this uh, in, in this spreadsheet and uh, I'm not sure if this is going to help for for maybe some of you are using this trying to using this in Google Sheets or any other service in the application right and uh, just don't know uh, maybe some crazy stuff we can do with this with this API because there is a if we're checking the, so right now we have a lot of models or API APIs we can use so right now I'm only using I think it's this chat Yes, we are using this uh, in the in this demo here. So it's just uh, it's just a very simple or a basic chat application here like this. So um, about the code, uh, maybe one thing I just want to mention here um, is about the API key. Okay, because I just want to show you the API key is not saved. It's saved to your file, it's not in my file, okay? So it's not, I cannot access your API key. So if you're tr trying to use this file, I uh, just want to show you the code and uh, set API key. So you don't need to worry about it. Mm, so here is a function to set the API key. So basically, this is where the API, API key is saved. It's basically saved to the user properties so I cannot access your user data right uh, it's basically is saved to your account is not I cannot just access your API key and um, so that's just in case you worry about the API key and uh, let me go back to the Google Sheets here and uh, after you make a copy so let me just try to do a copy and close this one and uh, I think I need to let me just remove this one. If I remove this one, I don't think I can use it anymore. So maybe a new conversation. Because I just removed this uh, API key I created for this demo here, let me just create a new chat. And this time, uh, what is app script? I'm trying to ask a question here. I'm trying to send this question, and then is. It's going to validate. I think it's going to validate the API key. And I think since the API key is 
not at, uh, is not valid anymore, so it prompts me to enter another ATAC key, so something like that. I can cancel it like this, and uh, I'm going to leave it like this, so you can make a copy uh, from this version if you want to use it. And here, it's just the version we just made a copy. And this in this new copy, if I'm trying to, so, so by default, there is no API key here uh, after you make a copy because it's saved to the user's properties, not in this document, all right? So here, if I'm trying to send a message, so for the first time, you need to complete this authorization process. Advanced. Click on this and that allows access. And then if you click any of this button, so right now there is no message. Press the message. Okay, so as you can see, just to prove that uh, your API key won't be saved. It's just saved to your file for your account, okay? And then if you are sharing uh, the document with other people, maybe your colleague, or you won't share the API key to them, okay? So that's just the notes. And I think that's it for this video. And I'm not sure if you um, guys have any idea about how maybe we can use it. Some real case, we can use it. It's just, it's just a no. Right now, we don't have any requirements, so maybe we can utilize or take advantage of this chat GPT to do things in Google Sheets or some crazy stuff, I don't know. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thank you. Bye bye.